All right, well, I'm here with Carlo from Meticulous, yes. and I really want to show you guys something super cool today. So let's hear a bit about you, your background, and also this machine, because uh, we've, we've been seeing this pop up in a few different places, all the way from Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> So he, he showed up here and he's showing us the machine. So I really want to be able to tell his story, the story of this machine and, and really what all of this is about. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. So my background is in product design. I'm a product designer. I've been designing my own products for more than 10 years. Uh, one thing that I didn't want when I was in college, uh, because I saw my kind of my design heroes uh, build these very cool products that would fail. And something that I noticed was that they were getting bad clients. Mm. Uh, so if you get a bad client and they have a bad idea, you still have to design for that bad idea. So very early on, I decided to have no clients. And what that forced me was to um, build products from scratch, mm -hmm. which is really hard. So we've, we've been using Kickstarter mm -hmm. uh, for the past 12 years to uh, essentially validate our ideas. And if they are successful in Kickstarter, then we go ahead and, and develop it into a full product. Mm -hmm. uh, I started this with my girlfriend at the time. It's now my wife. And uh, we've built all kinds of products, very crazy, uh, all over the place. The, the most complex was an electronic chessboard, a robotic chessboard that, that plays by itself. Mm -hmm. And the simplest one was a couch for kids. So all over the place. Mm -hmm. And we really just dive into products that excite us and yeah, ideas that excite us. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about not having clients is that we can really explore what uh, is our passion uh, and what we, we really think there's a need for a product mm -hmm. in the world. So uh, like three years ago, I started diving into, into coffee. Mm -hmm. I was telling you, I, I got into the rabbit hole. Yeah. Uh, I started uh, researching all this gear. I got a small flare um, manual lever mm -hmm. machine, and that's how I started experimenting with it. And then I got into, uh, I remember it's a James Hoffman video that talks about the history of the decent espresso machine, mm -hmm. which uh, I already knew as kind of the gold standard of uh, what everyone wanted to have. And in the video, he mentioned that the original goal of that machine was to make a thousand dollar machine. Right. And I got obsessed with that challenge. <laughs> so I don't remember, he, but in the video, he said something like, maybe it's not even possible. And I was mm. like, oh man, that's, that sounds like a challenge. Uh -huh. So um, I got obsessed with that problem. I was just thinking about it constantly. And the idea I got was to motorized a, a, lev a motorized a lever express right. machine. So uh, my first prototypes, I can send you pictures if you want to yeah, add yeah, them yeah. to the video. Yeah, I'll add them, yeah. It's like a huge uh, metal structure and then a tiny flare with a piston. And it took us uh, almost six months to start getting good coffee mm -hmm. because it turns out that um, producing the kind of the same forces and behavior as a human hand is really important. Mm. So what we were doing at the beginning was using the motor just very naively. Mm. And motors are very good at ramping up very quickly. So they can generate a lot of force instantly. And what we found uh, later was that generating those kind of forces ruined the coffee. Mm. So you want to be gentle and do changes um, slowly. Uh, so it took us a lot of time. And also we were not experts in coffee. So at, at the same time we were experimenting with that, we were uh, learning about coffee. So we didn't know if the machine was bad or the coffee was good and we didn't know. So it was really <laughs> difficult to do all of that learning at the same time. Mm -hmm. We finally got to, to good coffee and this is the uh, most exciting I've ever been about a product. Mm just because of how it fits in the market, on uh, how it solves a particular problem. Uh, to my knowledge, there is no other lever espresso machine that's robotic 
or motor control. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got a button for it. All, all in all, it feels like kind of uh, like a there was a, a huge missing spot and no one saw it mm -hmm. for many years. And, and, and I'm still worried that someone's going to tell me, oh, you mean the robotic? Yeah, they, that <laughs> failed 30 years ago. Yeah, that's a very bad idea. Uh -huh. That's why there's not another one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so we started a new company in January, my wife and I. We sold the old company to my partner, mm -hmm. and we just poured everything we have into into this machine. So mm -hmm. we are we are a team of forty people, uh, working out of Puebla, Mexico. Mm -hmm. It's about two hours away from Mexico City. Okay, and uh, we are just dedicated to to making this uh, the best home espresso machine uh, that mm -hmm. in the world. Uh, that's yeah. that's a, our goal. Um, so. I'll tell you a little bit more about uh, the design of the machine. So in the back, there is a very powerful 3000 Newton uh, linear motor mm -hmm. that's pushing up. And then inside here, there is a uh, rocker mechanism that transfers the movement down. Then inside the shaft, we have a pressure uh, sensor just over the puck. We have a temperature sensor, and we also have a flow sensor because we know how much the piston is moving mm. and how much water we're displacing. So we have an uh, indirect flow sensor. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for temperature, uh, one of the things that uh, we learned about flare was how inconsistent the temperature could be. Right. So we, we actually added seven sensors, seven temperature sensors mm -hmm. here. So the cylinder has two sensors to measure cylinder, te cylinder temperature, and we can control that very precisely. And then we have four sensors, you can see a bar here. We have four sensors that measure water temperature at different right. heights, and uh, we can read a full gradient uh, of temperatures mm -hmm. in the water. And then we have another sensor at the bottom to monitor brew temperature. And that is really just f to, to validate the sensors from the top, uh -huh. because once you're brewing, you can't change the temperature. That's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, we integrated the scale under the drip tray. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it's a high precision scale. It's comparable to a, an Akaya Lunar, mm -hmm. uh, 0.1 grams. And um, I think that's it. This also is heated as, as well. Yes, yes. It's heated. Um, it's controlled to very high precision, like uh, half of a degree centigrade. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we can we can do heat it, and we can do either pressure or flow control uh, profile mm -hmm. with the motor. So uh, compared to a pump mechanism, uh, we can make pressure changes much faster. It's actually so fast that we had to integrate a uh, softening uh, <laughs> in the in the software. So that the the changes are, as I was saying, more like what you get with with the hand. Mm -hmm. uh, but for some specific situations, you actually want to do very fast uh, movement, right. like a fast retraction to stop the flow or something like that. So we can also do that. And then inside here, there's a a computer, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> so we, the processor we use is like a last generation Android phone, so it's very capable. Mm -hmm. um, we have a high resolution screen, and uh, we also have uh, yes. Wi-Fi that uh, connects to the machine, and we are able to, to do uh, a flow control or pressure control, and there's no limit on, mm -hmm. on how much <laughs> Yeah, you could. How much customization you can do? Yeah. So what what I'll say right now is, this machine hasn't even launched, and yes. we we have a software solution here that's already working incredibly well. So we've actually made some coffee on this yes. before, and we're going to make some coffee as well. But the the fact is, is the the software is already incredibly well uh, executed and yeah. and it's easy to use yes not yeah. to knock on some other people but <laughs> yeah, it, it does it works and yeah. uh, you can also run this out to a variety of other devices as that's well that's right our idea is to uh, that you will only need this either if you're very into coffee mm. and you're experimenting or 
uh, if you're downloading profiles just a few times a month. Yeah. So we didn't want to integrate uh, a complex control system like this into the machine, which we think that's wasteful. So it integrates with any device that you already have. So if yeah. you have a tablet, Android tablet, iOS tablet, a laptop or whatever, you can use this uh, interface. Mm -hmm. And we are also working to make this as useful as possible. So mm -hmm. the idea is that you will be able to do most of what most people would want right from the machine mm -hmm. without the need of a tablet. Yeah. So that is a challenge in design, <laughs> but we are working on it. Yeah, well, I mean, let's go ahead and brew some coffee and then we'll uh, dive a little more into kind of the user interface of this. What else can you do? Uh, because kind of from the get-go, there's a lot going on. I mean, yeah. there, there's there's so many, this is a feature-packed machine, but if you look at it, it's incredibly simple and yeah. uh, you'll, you will see the simplicity as we start uh, brewing. One thing that you can do is you can actually use this because this does have an integrated scale oh, yeah. to actually dose your coffee out. So we're just gonna do that. We, we don't need to have any more scales right now. From this angle, you, you can see that there's a, a few, there are a few buttons here, but there is actually a tear Perfect. button on the side here. Yep and it will tear on the app as well as on this display That's here. Right. Yes. So you can do everything with just the machine, uh, but you can also dive into things with, yes. with the app. Yeah, so if, if you were doing that this at home, you wouldn't need the tablet to, to uh, wait your coffee. Mm. <laughs> But you, yeah, but yeah. It's, it's super cool, it's cool that you can do that. And you can also run this out to like, if you had a big display, you could also run it out to a really big display right. if you wanted to see your graphs. And yeah, I mean, I am pouring coffee into here and I find it hilarious that you can do everything in one system here. That's pretty accurate. So we're like 14.5 grams. Oh, there we go, 18.1, and this is the same value as the same value here. Yes. So, you know, we can dose everything. <laughs> you can just do everything in um, one machine right there, and you don't need any more external scales. And uh, once we actually start brewing here, once is uh, we have stop by way, we have all of these really nice features. You know, we, we weighed out the coffee with the integrated scale, but you know, you might be wondering like, okay, while you're doing that, should you also, you know, preheat and all that, what does that process look like? Yeah, right. so um, the cylinder is actually always heating. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want it, you could have this inside mm -hmm. for preheat and take it out yeah. just before. Um, and all of this, you, you can feel it. It's, yeah, no, this is like- getting warm. It's getting warm, but, um, you know, this is like well insulated enough where you're yes. not going to burn. You're also, exactly. not, you're also not going to burn your hand when you're you're touching this. Uh, but this here is targeting the temperature that we have set in the app. Or that, is right it, now, it's targeting okay. a a. Okay, there's just like a, a normal pre. pre okay, pre so there's like a normal pre temperature that it targets. Right. You know, once we lock in and we pour in water and, and all of that, we can actually set a temperature that it That's will right. target to. Yeah, so it just locks in like a normal part of filter. Okay, so now what we can do is just pour. Oh, is this heated? Oh, it doesn't. Well, yeah, no. it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. You can use any. You can use hot water if yes. you want to do faster, or you can pour in normal room temperature. Water. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to preheat your portal filter, what you can do is pour cold water mm. or or room temperature water, and that it will take longer but heat everything. Right. If you want to do it faster. Uh, then you can yeah, pour you hot water. Hot water. Yes. Use a kettle or whatever you you want to heat there. But oh, that's so cool. So the water just goes down through kind of this funnel. Yes. And and you don't have to be very precise to uh, about how much water you pour in. Mm -hmm. As long as it's over the uh, edge, that's fine. Okay. And then it, we're already seeing that the the temperature sensor is getting submerged in there. Exactly. So getting a readout of our. We just add a little cup in here. And also, you the, the nice thing about this is you can start and stop your shot. Like yes. if we messed up, like we forgot the cup there, we could we could save. Yes. And 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 stop there. It tears automatically when it starts, but we okay, can. But we have multiple readouts. Yeah. That, that's okay. So we actually <laughs> are reading out to another phone there yes. and this tablet uh, as well. Yes. Um. But yeah. So I uh, what we'll do for this is just a uh, flat uh, pre-infusion of four milliliters per second. Mm -hmm. uh, you can play around a lot with this and uh, create a, for yeah. example, a, a decreasing um, mm -hmm. pre-infusion or whatever. Yeah. I I just like one thing I really want to mention right now is I really like the fact that you can literally go in and touch things. You can yes. like like. 
high pressure, low pressure. There's no, oh my God, I have to go in and like, <laughs> like tap the plus and minus yes. a lot of times. No, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is like, in my opinion, how it should be. Because, you know, while like this, I think custom profile seems like very daunting. Yeah. The fact that this UI is so easy to use makes just diving into this world of advanced espresso profiling, all that much That's more it, simple, yeah. right? Just, yes. you know, drag the curve up and down. High, this is what high pressure does. This is what low pressure does. This is low flow, high flow, right? So easy to use. Yeah. We have a two triggers mm -hmm. right now. It's 10 seconds or 0.2 grams. So the moment some water is detected on the cup, we're gonna switch to infusion. And right now we will just do an eight bar infusion. And we have a stop weight, uh, 33 grams, because it takes a few grams for, for the water to, so it's like two to three grams uh, that, that pour in. Mm -hmm. And that's something that uh, depends on the coffee. So you, you always want to play around with this, yeah. with this number. But uh, um, yeah, well, yeah, you have like all of the conditional stuff too. Like you yes. say, oh, if this happens, do this. Uh, exactly. And, and you can program, you know, go crazy and program as many steps as you want. That's right. Yeah. What, what we want to do is we want to create a system that's super easy to use if you don't want to mess with anything, but give you the tools to go as deep as you want. Yeah, so hit the play button. Yep. And that's it. Starts here. So the cool thing too is like, look, we, we got the app. The app is great, but you could just look at this. Uh, you also can start the shot by just yes. pushing this button, this button yes. here at the, the front, which is like a start button. And then you have your menu access and in, in, uh, exactly. that here. We do get such a nice readout of everything. So right now we see this temperature rising and we started with a, you know, a little bit colder water. So it's not to the temperature that we set in that. But what's cool is it's just going to start heating up. And then once it hits there, it's gonna go. You know, if you really wanted, you could like start everything cold, prep everything, press start, walk away, and come back That's to right. your shot. And exactly. Because it's got stop by way. Yes. It's gonna just it's gonna do everything for you. So yes. very, very convenient in, in that aspect. You could be in another room and start your machine. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And also, uh, so the first cup is a little slow. Uh, and we don't have a tank, obviously, we don't have a boiler. But what we've found is that making multiple espressos is actually much faster with this method of single dose mm -hmm. water than a boiler. Right. Right. So once this get, gets going, you can just one after another, and it will take like five seconds to start because the water and everything is already uh, at the temperature. This chamber right now is about 100 mils, and later on, it's going to be 150. 150. Yep. So how long does it take to heat? all of that up to, and, and what is the temperature range right now? We can do up to boiling. Okay. We can't do more than boiling. It takes anywhere from one to four minutes, depending on, on water temperature. Right. Yeah, okay. which is not crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's 73 already. And we're targeting 80, Five. 85. Yep. And and with these machines too, like you don't ne you don't need to use such a high temperature. When That's right. Pulling shots. Yeah. You actually should use lower temperatures. Yes, <laughs> yeah, we, we usually do like 80. Yeah, especially because the the temperature, like the sensor is super accurate yes. in, in here. So it, it, we're not reading temperature all the way up here and then trying to compensate. Exactly. Right? We can just use a lower temperature here. So right now it's oh, yeah. 81. 81, so it's almost. Uh, it's been about two minutes. Yeah, and that's something we're very actively working on, mm -hmm. trying to reduce the, the time. Yeah. So the, one of the reasons we are going to increase the water, uh, the room for water, it's not because we want more water, it's because we want to make the walls of the cylinder thinner. Oh, okay. And so that will... Faster. Yes, and we will increase the inside diameter and we'll fit more water. But yeah. that wasn't the original intention, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's well, just a side effect. I mean, yeah, but you'll get more options of what types of shots yes. you can then yeah. pull um, by, by nature of doing that and yep. we'll get faster heat up time. So there we go. So we see this piston go up yep. and the water is now going in transferring the into the chamber yep yep and what you can see right now is the live uh pressure and flow and weight as well yep oh and we see it we see this little dial ramp up so we just hit about eight bars now we're just gonna basically pull that Another thing is that it's completely silent. Yeah, it's, it's like a lever <laughs> machine. Yeah, yeah. It is. <laughs> My table is also not the most level thing in the world, so oh, our yeah. shot isn't going to look as pretty. But um, yeah, that's 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 espresso right there. 
And basically, you can adjust the different profiling, and it's just going to adjust kind of the, the piston def as well to exactly. compensate and give you pretty much everything that you're maybe used to when you're doing a regular lever machine. Yes, you can do anything that a lever machine can do. Yeah, well, I mean, this is a really pretty looking shot. This is uh, Onyx Coffee Labs Decade. Ooh. Yeah, it was just push button and walk away. It heated up the water. It would have been much faster if we used boiling water, yep. but we were using you know, warm water. Uh, and and the thing is, too, it stops. Yes. Stop by weight. Like, stop by weight is such a fantastic feature. Yeah. So far, the shots off of this have been fantastic. So we had a few people here. We're, we're drinking the coffees. I mean, obviously, we're using higher end equipment yeah. here, but the point is like, we're not tasting anything that is wrong with the brewing method itself. Yes. This is all because this is incredibly temperature stable and we have such close access to uh, profiling. So we really can become nerds and, and dive deep. How good this is <laughs> already, right? But there are gonna be some uh, updates to this and, yes. and all of that, but got our shot series, split it. Cheers. Yep. Cheers. Yeah, that's good. Like, yep. that, I mean, this is a temperature stable espresso machine with profiling that's easy to use. Yes. You can be a nerd about it. It's, the coffee is going to taste good. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's not surprising that this makes really great coffee. Let's also talk a bit about what else you can do with this, right? We we went through the brewing experience. It's very, very easy, right? It works. Um, you, it's, it's all very integrated too, right? Yeah. You can dose, you can pull a shot, you can do all of that. Um, what else can we do with this? Like there is this menu system on here and yes. there's a computer and... Yeah, inside we have a very powerful computer and Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. And our goal with this is to kind of bring the beauty of science-based uh, espresso to everyone. Mm -hmm. So we're doing the app and the graphs and the controls because it's a, it's a requirement mm -hmm. for us to work with it. But our goal is to, to make it very, very simple. So in a way that you can just maybe take a picture of the coffee you're using and the machine will um, recommend a profile, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, um, so we, we pulled the shot here, right? We got this beautiful readout. I mean, like this is super easy to read and um, eventually we'll be able to like, you know, save and, or I think we exactly. might be able to save. Right yeah, now. you can yeah, save so right, right now. now like, we can save the profile. We can basically, you know, start sharing this, but uh, this is all of the key data and information that we have, that, you know, that we need about the, the coffee right here. And one thing that's really cool too, is look at this temperature. Look at this temperature. It's yeah. just, yeah, the temperature is it's just stable. Yeah. Uh, but we pulled the shot here and because this is like a lever machine, right? We, we do, we should purge. Yes. Um, Cleaner to use a purge cup. Yeah, we will use a purge cup. Yep. But and you can just press the purge button, the third third icon. So there's a purge button here. Yep. And we can also do purge automatic purge when you remove the cup. Oh, because and it weighs. Yeah. So uh, we can detect that uh, and do auto automatically. This is fascinating because it's only been two years. Yes. Right? Like this is genu genuinely for from an espresso machine development standpoint, it's very hard or very rare to see a physical machine like that is in this good condition. You know, this is all built super nicely and more so to see the software up yeah. to spec, right? The mm -hmm. fact that this is so well done already is um, quite surprising. It's very surprising. You know, this is a, a machine that is very simple to use, but you can also make it as complex as, yes. as you want, right? You can be a nerd, but really there's such a big focus on usability here, right? Like we're talking easy to use UI, You there's a button, you can push it and start. Like a lot of small things have been thought about and there, you know, this is a prototype, so it's still getting better, right? Like small things here where we have a little bit of condensation here, we're gonna add a little yes. fan, right? Like yep. all these cool things um, that are happening. And one thing that I do want to mention too, is like, this is also from Mexico. Yes. It, it, we, Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> like, Mexico, I think incredibly rare. I haven't been around long enough, but like, yeah. I don't think there are many coffee products. From yeah, they're, they're not. But we'll explore that at a later date. Yes. Pull the shot. And then this is something that you can knock out. It's a easy knockout. It's like a lever machine. So yeah, pretty straightforward clean. there. Now, what else, is there anything else that we should be aware of in terms of cleaning or, you know, maintenance of the machine? Yeah, so uh, we try to integrate with as many standards as, as possible. So we are using standard 58 millimeter. 
Uh, we are using a standard shower screen, uh, standard uh, uh, O-rings. So in terms of maintenance, it's, it should be pretty easy. And also, uh, cleaning is, is very easy too. So at the bottom, you see that we don't have a screw. So it, it this just pops out. Oh, okay. So you can clean it uh, from there. Mm -hmm. Everything in the mechanism is uh, insulated from, for, from, from water. So you shouldn't have any problem with water condensation inside the machine. Inside, okay. Yeah, so it's just that you can remove the, the drip tray, um, then that, that's the integrated scale. This machine, I'm just curious how heavy it is. Yeah, pretty light. How heavy is this? Like, uh, like 30 pounds 30, right now. Okay. Uh, final one is gonna be a little lighter than this actually. Mm, it's solid. Yes. Like it feels, feels really good to touch. There, there are also a lot of really small uh, things that they thought about too, where it's like, it will it will show you different temperature sensor readings. So we're able to like, you know, if you're really being a nerd, you're really able to figure out like, okay, it's reading the temperature here at the, with this sensor and then it's reading this sensor. So you get a really great idea of uh, what your extraction is running at, like what temperature uh, things are pulling at. We love it when people, you know, work on a product and it actually works. So, so this is the meticulous right now. That's right. Or do we have a fancier name coming out at some point? It's coming. Yeah, com okay. it's coming. So, when will people be able to get this machine, or what? What should we be looking out for? Yeah. So we'll be launching on Kickstarter on March fifteenth. Pre-orders are going to start at fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, and that will be for the Kickstarter, and. Uh, it'll be a little more expensive after that for, for retail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you want to get it for 1500, uh, Kickstarter is the, the only place uh, that you'll be able to do that. Okay, so we'll be on the lookout for the Kickstarter. And right now you can subscribe to the newsletter uh, to get notified, follow us on Instagram. Uh, we'll be uh, sharing more and more details on Instagram. And right now is also the time for us to get kind of the final feedback. Um, so one of the reasons why we're doing this is uh, we're getting some ideas and, and feedback from the community uh, on small changes that we can still uh, implement yeah. before. So this design is not final. We, we're still working on improving it. You, if you like it, if you want to uh, give us some ideas, that, that would be great. And I think Instagram is the best place for us to to, to build this, this community and just be on the lookout for the campaign on March 15th. And okay. we will also be at the SCA Coffee Fair in Portland uh, in June. He came from Mexico, that's like <laughs> kind of crazy. But he, he, yeah, he's been showing off this machine to a lot of people and um, I just love it when things are in such good shape, right? Like this is something that I think a lot of people will be very excited about. Yeah, I, I uh, flew to LA, I knew no one and I just started contacting people on Instagram. And thanks for uh, hosting me. You, uh, it's your house, so I, yeah. you really didn't yeah. know me. So yeah. thanks, thanks for. Yeah. And then he dr drove all the way up to San yeah. Francisco area, Bay Area, and uh, he's showing off the machine. But it's real. It's here. It makes great coffee, and we're really excited. I'm really excited. I hope you guys will be excited to see uh, where this uh, go, where this really goes, because there's a lot of innovation uh, in this space still, and. Um, I think the price point and the features are going to be the most appealing aspect. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank you. So thank much. you. Thank okay. you. Yeah, it's been, it's been uh, the, the reception from people. It's going to be, it's, it's been great. Mm -hmm. uh, we're super nervous because you work on something for two years and you, and you imagine people are going to like it, mm -hmm. but you don't know. So it's, yeah. you're, you're very nervous about this trip and, and, reaching people and they're like, oh no, we don't really need something like that. Yeah, no, no. yeah I, I, I know like with a lot of these home, home high-end home enthusiasts yeah. guys or people with so much skepticism, like yeah. people are like, is it real? So, well, I will say it is, it is real. Like it's yeah. here, it yep. makes coffee and um, it's by, you know, wonderful guy right here. Yeah, so, thank you. It's awesome.